I'm already getting emotional, babes. I'm gonna be here for hours. And then I just broke down, I started crying. We gave up. If, if you see the next clip is gonna be us crying no. and panicking that it didn't work. So baby, what's happening right now? <laughs> Hello YouTube world, we are in beautiful Croatia. We love it here. We do. It's so beautiful. Yes, but we want to catch you up because so much happened in the two weeks between basically getting here and being in Massachusetts. Yeah. So we recorded another vlog letting you guys in on exactly what we did for those two weeks, which included so many things like yeah. family time, packing, scary documents, getting wedding ready, like all the things. It was insane. It was the most hectic, hectic two weeks of our lives. We know we say that in every video, but it really truly was. So it's it keeps getting more and more hectic. Like yep. it's not easier now. Nope. No. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so stay tuned and you are going to get an inside scoop on every little thing that we did and one thing is you're going to notice in the video it's not in chronological order because there's so many little different things that we did that yeah. we put them in buckets of like okay this is wedding stuff this yeah. is document stuff this is packing stuff because or else you guys would be really confused because we were like this the whole time <laughs> it was, right it was crazy it was crazy yeah all right well we're yeah, gonna yeah. leave you guys to it so you can watch for yourselves see ya As you guys saw in our last video, we were packing up our lives in Pennsylvania, but this is the next phase. We had to then come to Massachusetts and figure out what were we actually going to bring to Croatia. This was really difficult. It took us so much time because how in the world can you pack up your life to move to another country for an entire year? So baby. Can you tell the people what are we doing again for the third time? Third, is it fourth or fifth time? We are literally going through everything that we already said we were gonna pack another stinking time because we have too much stuff and we don't wanna buy another luggage and pay the fee. So we're going through all my winter clothes yet again. Again. To be brutal. It's like, do they make it or do they not make it? Okay, this one made the cut, right? It made a cut, yeah. Okay. This man has had so much faith by stuffing this guy and still right. thinks that we have weight and so space left. This is a smaller one. This is not the biggest, biggest. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the, like a medium. It's a medium one. I stuffed her so stinking much that it may weigh more than a big one. Okay, let's see. Boom, baby! All right, all right, all right. 46.8. Okay, this is good. Where are we at? 48.3. How do you feel? <sighs> Relief, like I hope we're finally done with this one. Last one. Last one. This is the lightest one, so we still have some wiggle room. Oh, she's not so light. 46.1, okay, yeah. that's good. We that's can do good, that. we can do that, we'll take that. Okay, bags are done. So two of the bags, the two white ones, mm -hmm. are coming with us immediately. Mm -hmm. And the green one and the navy blue one, Kayla's parents are bringing them to Croatia once when they're coming to the wedding. So we're, we're looking good. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, where are we? We are in Brookline at my hair salon. We have a very long day ahead of us. It is 9.19 on a Friday and I'm gonna be here for hours. Hours, you're gonna do a lot with your hair. A so. lot. Actually. I'm nervous but excited. Okay, mm -hmm. it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. gonna be fun. I can't wait to see you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is your hair before mm -hmm. and 
We're gonna show the peeps how it looks after. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, are you the most beautiful woman Aww. in the world or what? I love it. I get to marry you? <laughs> Show us the side. Show us the side. Whoa. So good, right? Babe, you look absolutely Thanks, baby. Stunning. You're the most beautiful woman Aww, alive. Thanks, baby. Wow. Ready? I'm ready. Dink it. Dink it. Sink it. Sink it. Mm. What a day. As you saw in our last video, we went to the Commonwealth to get an apostle seal on my birth certificate. We think we also need a seal on my FBI results that I'm not a criminal. So we went to the same place we went last time. We stopped doing, you know, our daily tasks, made the drive out there. It was un... What word am I looking for? Not uneventful, but it was... It was not successful. That's nope. what it was. Nope. As soon as we pulled out the paper and she was like, we don't do federal documents here. Which makes sense, but we didn't look into it. So literally. We got out. Mm -hmm. Defeated. Defeated. <laughs> oh yeah, she was like, oh yeah, I think you can only do it in DC. Maybe you can do it in Boston. Not sure. Check out this form, which didn't really have much information. So now we have to go on a little adventure to figure out what do we do. Yeah. Which is stressful. And then we started driving back. There was so much traffic, like crazy traffic. And then I just broke down. I started crying because I was so overwhelmed. There's so much. Yeah. If we're, I, yeah, go ahead. We're basically leaving in five days. Mm -hmm. And there's still so much things to do. Yeah. Like the wedding is getting close. There's mm -hmm. so many details still to do. And yeah, just with the move and mm -hmm. with everything, packing your whole life, moving to another continent. So yeah, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. It was too much. I feel like these last couple of days, there's been a couple of things that have not gone according to plan. And it's yeah. just stressful because when you don't have a lot of time and then you're already dealing with a lot of big changes and emotional things, sometimes you just have to cry it out. Yeah. But my babes was so sweet and he hugged me and then we got Starbucks. So the day's turning around. It's about 4.18. And we have to get back to packing. Yeah. Pray for us. We're gonna crush it. We, we got this. We, we got this. We got coffee we got now. Yeah. Okay, let's get down to business. Mm -hmm. One week later. <sighs> <laughs> Do I tell them what happened? I'm not ready. Okay, guys. We have been struggling to get the Apostle seal on my criminal background check. As we told you guys last time, we couldn't do it at the place we went before. It was a completely different ball game. It was a federal issue. We've been going through all the things and basically we believe that we have to mail this in, mail in the form, mail in the document, and online it says that it could take a potential of 12 weeks, which means that I would be literally kicked out of Croatia because it would be past my- It would be too late. Yeah, past my 90 days of being so... there. So this is us lying on the floor and trying to gather up enough faith <laughs> to trust the Lord and mm -hmm. the miracle will happen and that this yeah. document and the seal will come to Croatia yeah. before those 12 weeks. Yeah. That's where we're at. We're like, Lord, if it's your will for us to live in Croatia this next year, then a miracle is going to happen. And if you have another plan in place, Lord, then it's going to be better than we imagined because he has our best interests in his heart. So... That's where we're at. That's where we're at. So we'll see. It's going to be an adventure <laughs> of a lifetime <laughs> for sure. Oh, that's one way to put it. An adventure. And we just need to, I don't know about you, but I know I need to start trusting the Lord mm -hmm. more. 
and just put in his hands and as you said if it comes then it's going to be a miracle yeah. we're going to celebrate it as a miracle if it doesn't come in time then the lord has something better for us yeah. and we're again trying to hear his voice yeah. and see what he wants from us and yeah. why be led by him mm -hmm. yeah so too this is us right now should we tell them babe? on the floor no we don't live together we don't live together please stop with the comments <laughs> We are right now at Kayla's parents' house. On the floor. On the floor. We sleep in different rooms. <laughs> Kayla's dad is right there next door. We don't live together. Can we? Is it okay if we're together when we make a video? I like, don't think so. Maybe we should have two different screens. Two different screens. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like a Zoom. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> These are all the documents there. We gave up. We gave up. <laughs> okay, so we are here. Literally the last day, last full day we have in Massachusetts at the UPS because we are praying that they can notarize this document that needs to be expedited to the US Department of State in DC and it needs to happen and it all needs to happen now. We are so nervous, we're so anxious, we're all the it's... things, and we're just praying for a miracle, because if this doesn't work... <laughs> we are screwed. We're screwed. Like, literally screwed. I have no idea what are we gonna do yeah. if this does not work. Yeah, so... We're gonna, maybe, if if you see the next clip, is gonna be us crying no. <laughs> and panicking that it didn't work. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, we'll be back! Bye. <sighs> we're not crying, that's, that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> First, we step into the store and they're playing my favorite song and we even have it on our wedding cocktail playlist and we I was do. like, oh, this is the Lord, like it's my favorite song. Lord, like, you're okay. with us, yeah. And then there was this cute man there as we were waiting in line um, because Mate kissed me on the forehead and the guy was like, oh, I just love seeing that, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. He was just so cute. So again, we're like, okay, Lord, we know that you're with us. Yeah. And we had the best stinking lady here at EPS. Like I want to write her review. That's how amazing she was. She was so helpful. We got it notarized. She was so helpful with all the information. She was even going on the government website trying to find like information for us yeah, to help, to help us. us. It was she insane. was amazing. Thank you, Lord. So that's all set. Now we just pray that they're going to get it on Monday and they're going to just put it in the processing pin and it'll, it'll all work out. <sighs> I was sweating my butt off I'm, in there. I'm I was still so sweating. nervous. I'm still sweating. Ah, <laughs> Oi. Okay. okay. Step by step, baby. Step by step. We're doing this. Okay. So baby, what's happening right now? <laughs> Me and my mom are about to fit, get this guys, two wedding dresses with my wedding shoes, my wedding bag, the jewelry, vow books, special hangers, like this is a lot in a tiny carry-on bag. Can we do it guys? Can why, we do it? Why the carry-on? Because it's my wedding dresses and I want to eliminate as much stress as possible I want to have that thing as close as possible to me. People said you can hang them in the airplane, but that's not a guarantee and I don't want that. I literally want them. I even have an air tag in them. They need to be next to me at all times. That's thousands of dollars in one bag. <laughs> that's two wedding dresses in one little carry-on. One little carry-on. <sighs> Let's do it. Mm -hmm.
two dresses, getting ready clothes, shoes, jewelry, the vow books, hangers, flat iron. Yeah, it all fits. Craziness. I'm already getting emotional, babes. What's mm -hmm. crazy is that on this bed, I would sit here when I had that year off, when I quit my job, and this is before I went to Global, I had no idea what I was doing next with my life. And I had three prayers that I would pray right here on this bed. I would pray for godly friends. I prayed for clarity on my calling. And I prayed for my husband and my future family right here. And now here we are, engaged, leaving to basically have our wedding in three weeks. It's absolutely insane what God has done. It's You're crazy. making me emotional. <laughs> it's crazy. How do you feel like leaving your house, mm -hmm. your parents, and like everything that's happening? Sad, of course. Really sad. But also really excited at the same time. And it's kind of balancing those two emotions and like a healthy tension, you know? Mm. I've always wanted to live in Europe, so it's finally happening, like we were talking about earlier. But even though it's something I've prayed for and wanted, now that it's here, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm scared. Like, mm. am I ready? I can't believe it's now. It's all the emotions. Yeah, and then part of it feels like it's not even real. Mm. Like that we're actually doing this, mm. you know? Mm. Cray cray.